Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael here, and there is a couple of new things that has happened today in the scene. So let's quickly go over them. So the very first thing is, is that I saw ETA Hen has been updated to 2.1b, uh, Lightning Mods, and there is a couple of interesting things in here, one of them being the ability to pause and resume case stuff in the toolbox. So if you go over to the Utilities section, there is now a beta feature that you can turn on and off. Mainly the real reason people want to do this is because they can get a lot of performance back. And in some games, it does help drastically to turn this off. Now, if you don't have any problems with any of your current games that you're working with or you're playing, then you may want to just skip over this for now as it is listed as a beta feature. And then the big news was updated K stuff and ETA Hen for 7.xx support. Yes, we can now run the jailbreak on 7.1 systems and lower. I've got a couple of videos on the channel about that in case you are interested in learning more. And then there was improved stability when auto loading the toolbox and more. Now there is a full change log right here, but just so you are aware, right here is that beta feature where you can pause case stuff. And it does state here that pausing case stuff will greatly improve overall system performance, but fake packages will not work. And if we go over to the main release notes, we've went ahead and we've covered this one and these right here. The other things that was added was more in-depth errors due to the direct package installer v2. There was some fixes for case stuff, unnecessarily changing these kit target IDs, and a few other things that may not be applicable to you for things like dev kits. And then there was fixed K-Log auto starting, even when it's disabled via the toolbox config. And then a few other things down in here. Now I won't read all of these out, but what is very nice about this is, is that now we have one ETA hen that does have support all the way up to 7.61. Now, every time that there is a brand new ETA hen, there also is a new version of items flow that came out. And we can see right over here by Lightning Mods, he did state that items flow has been updated to 1.10 and that they have added updated plugins for 7.x and then improved toolbox injecting speed with case stuff from two minutes up to 10 seconds. Now, if you do want to go ahead and download that, just do keep in mind that there was a note here that said, if you can't open this version, be sure to delete the old PKG, then install this version. Do not overwrite. Now, I did check a couple of different sources over here with Idle Sauce because this is typically the one that I'm using right now, which is the UMTX2 jailbreak, and it has been updated to reflect the new version of ETA Hen 2.1b. And even for those of you that might still be using the older version of the PS5 exploit host, I did see that the payloads for this one hasn't been updated since March the 28th. So you would really only at the moment be able to use UMTX2 until that other one is updated. Okay, let's stop for a moment and just go ahead and take a quick look at it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get jailbroken here. I'm just gonna use the internet browser that I had installed and I'm gonna use the umtx2.pages.dev because as you just saw just a few moments ago, this one has already been updated. Now, up here at the very top, you will see that it is downloading new cache. So let's let that finish. So I'm going to click right over here where it says jailbreak and let's see if we can get jailbroken. Okay, super, super, super fast with UMTX2. I'm always just so amazed at how fast that runs. Okay, so right here you can see that ETA Hen 
has been included and it is 2.1b. So we just need to hover over this and press X and then give this just a few moments here in order to get ETA hen loaded up. Okay, and it looks like it is loaded up now. So we will just jump over to debug settings as a quick test, and there is ETA hen. Now, one thing that we will want to do is we will want to come over to the items flow, which is running right here. Now, it is recommended to just come in here and select delete if you have the old version. So go ahead and do that. So keep in mind, basically, you do not want to install items flow over the old one. Okay, so I've went ahead and copied the new version of items flow to a USB drive. So we're going to go ahead and go back into debug settings here, package installer, and I'm just going to scroll down here into I select this one right here, which is version 1.10. And now I'm going to press X on that and go ahead and get that brand new version installed. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's launch items flow and make sure everything is working appropriately. So we get our dialog message there, and now we're getting our games list. Okay, there are the games that I know that is on this system. Okay, and so let's look at the feature of ETA Hen. So we're going to go into the ETA Hen toolbox here and it was adding the ability to pause and resume case stuff in the toolbox. So if we come here and we go to utilities, right there is that new beta feature. Pause case stuff. So it says pausing case stuff will greatly improve the overall system performance, but FPKGs will not work. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to hit OK here, but do make sure you do read this and we'll press OK right there. And now it says case stuff is paused. Now you can come in here again and turn it on like we just did or turn it back off again. But there is a way that you can toggle that automatically. And what it is, is, is it is basically a plugin that you can come just right over here and you can turn that on. And what it will do will be anytime that you are entering a game, it can turn it right back off. And then once the game uh, plays for you exit, you can also turn it back on. And I am referring to case stuff. Okay, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.